We installed this solar panel on our four-wheel camper five years ago, and I posted a video on that install a year and a half ago. In this video, I'm going to do a five-year inspection, and I'm going to pull on the panel to see if the tape is still strong enough to hold the panel after five years. Before we get started, I want to be very clear. My older videos and my new tests only apply to attachment of solar panels on smooth, hard surfaces such as bare or painted metal, and this no-drill tape method should not be used on rubberized or EPDM roof coatings or roll-on materials used on larger RVs. These tapes can pull that stuff up. Eternabond is a great sealant even for those roofs, but in that case, you have to use screws or bolts to hold things down. In the past five years, this VHB tape has gone over 75,000 miles in extreme environments from Baja, Mexico to the Arctic Ocean and from Maine to California, from the southwest deserts to snowy winter trips. The panel has endured 100 mile per hour winds at least a few times. The panel even had a hanging PVC pipe with a low clearance warning on it in an underground parking garage once. I know, it wasn't very smart. The panel got dinged, but it didn't budge. We have a winter cover, but the panel endured three and a half years of snowy, cold winters. The panel endured about 50 days above 100 degrees Fahrenheit since it was installed, and over 500 days below freezing. The first thing I noticed is that the lamp sealant was so dirty I can't see what's going on. So I cleaned it up a little with soapy water and a toothbrush. Kind of see a little cracking around the front edge on this one. And here's the second one I cleaned up. Not really any cracks around this one. Here are all six of my cleaned up brackets. Only one out of six has obvious cracks, although a few of the others appear to have micro cracks that you can't really see in the pictures. And there are a couple where the sealant might be a little thin. I definitely need to do some maintenance here. I couldn't see the back side of the brackets under the panel without removing it, and I really didn't want to do that, so I used a borescope camera and saw a very dirty but ample lap sealant on the back side and no obvious cracks. There may be some under the dirt, but I think that area is totally shaded and shielded from some of the rain and snow, so it's probably in pretty good shape. So I'm fine calling it good along these hidden edges under the panel. I also found that a bolt was missing on one of the brackets. That's easy to fix. Now the panel is fine, and I really don't want to pull it up and have to reinstall it. So I'm going to pull carefully, and I'll stop if it looks like it is failing. We estimated the maximum wind shear force on the panel in a previous video to be 4.4 pounds. So I'll try to pull at least five times that, or about 22 pounds. But I'll stop if it seems to be failing. I really don't want to pull it up. I'll remove my metal safety attachments before pulling on the panel. Let's try just pulling straight up. This would be a tensile stress test on the tape. Two pounds. Sixteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay. Let's do one more on this end. I don't see it budging, but we'll just check one more time. Two pounds. Twelve, fifteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-four point seven peak. So what have we learned? Number one, 
the high bond tape is solid. Number two, the lamp sealant is beginning to crack. And number three, I've got a screw missing. On the panel, I mean. At this point, I took a break to research sealants. And of course, I had to do some strength tests. Those tests are in a companion video. Based on my research and testing, I concluded that Eternabon is a great sealant with at least a 10 or 15 year life compared to four or five years for my Dicor lap sealant. So I cleaned the areas around my old sealant with isopropyl alcohol and applied Eternabond over the old brackets. This is what I see many do on YouTube when they find degraded lap sealant these days, and it seems to be a common repair practice. But I still think lap sealant has a place. I have a problem with edges or corners that may not totally seal with Eternabond, like this fourth edge that would end up under the panel and these little corner gaps. So I added a little dab of lap sealant at the corners where the Eternabond lifts up to go over the bracket. And I'm relying on the old lap sealant on the back side of the brackets underneath the panel to still be good since it's shielded from the sun and the rain. I also replaced the missing bolt and lock washer. Okay. A quick summary. Number one, lap sealant may crack in a few years. You should probably inspect it annually. Number two, the very high bond tape still doesn't budge after five years. Number three, Eternabond is a great sealant and the manufacturer warranties it for 15 years and they say it should last 25 years. And number four, Eternabond goes right over the top of cracked lap sealant. And my strength test suggests this is a very strong sealant combination over a VHB attached bracket. Thanks much for watching. I hope this helps you decide how to install your rigid solar panel on your camper or van, or how to remediate cracked lap sealant.